Okay, so just started up this uh, Davy. It's a Davidoff Millennium Blend. Like a 2001 or 2002 cigar. It's about 18 years old, roughly. Been sitting in my Humi. Getting all tasty. Boy, is this thing blended well. Um, anyways, it's a Robusto size, my favorite Vitola. Um, and uh, I'm going to smoke this puppy down and tell you how it is. Okay. First. Off the cuff, like, perfect roll. Davies always have such a nice roll. Quality control of the Davidoff factory is stellar. So I'm going to go walk the dog right now. Puff this thing down. I'll tell you about how it tastes because so far it's really good. And I just started it. So see you. Nice gray ash. It's uh, gray white. Holding on pretty, pretty strongly there. I'm walking and I had that dog up there who is a pulling machine. We watch dogs for people, by the way, dog sitter. So, dog boarder. While they go out of town, we watch your dogs. But anyway, so, nice ash. Nice full-bodied flavor, smooth. Draw is really, really uh, easy. Nice draw, full plume on it. It's nice. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm about halfway through. And, um... Really starting to get complex now. It's picking up, picking up some flavors for sure. Um, it was kind of like a one note at first. Um, now she's got, I'd say probably the most, the dominating overtone would be like a warm, fresh cut stack of hay. Probably the first. Then we've got a strong cedar, probably to be expected. Um, that's pretty decent flavor but it's nice and blended in there it's not it's not harsh it's not um out on its own it's it's nice and blended in undertones are oh there's like some backstrap molasses something sweet but it's like a almost a bitter sweet you know a little bit um uh i've got some leather like leather strap um not like <laughs> car leather or some shit talking about like a leather that gets used for to strap something you know um down yeah <laughs> no you know what i mean like on a on a freaking i don't know a wagon or something a wagon a, a, a cart i don't know um i want to say saddle but saddle kind of sounds like it's someone sits their ass on it which they do but it almost is kind of tack like I'm not quite getting barnyard, but I'm definitely, you know, getting some leather. No coffee. Um, what's the other one? I'm getting some, uh, let's see. Um, it's a little nutty. Okay, so a little kind of chestnut maybe or something, roasted roasted chestnut. Um, a little bit of that. And, um, man, there was another one that I just had in mind. Um, hang on and I'll figure it out. Take a couple more puffs here. I guess I can do that. Um, really, really nice and full bodied and even, but not, not peppery. Um, so which is nice, you know, maybe just a touch of white pepper just ever so slightly nothing like a Fuente Opus X type thing um, Much smoother. I mean, this is an 18 year old 18 years old after all so it better be smooth um, Really really nice the draw is still just perfect um, The burn was perfect on it just absolute perfect burn Perfect draw. So, very enjoyable. Um, let me try and think if I if I can think of, of what the other the the undertones were. 
I had it just a second ago while I was walking. I was thinking, and uh, and it was not it was not coffee, I like a little bit sweet, rather. Maybe like oak barrel, like oak barrel. There we go, oak barrel. That wasn't the one that I thought of earlier, but that's what I'm getting right now. Like oak barrel, like maybe a a barrel or a cask, a, not a wine cask, but like a whiskey oak barrel, but doesn't really taste like whiskey. I'm just thinking more like oak barrel, you know. Really, really nice, really, really nice, very smooth. I'm enjoying it. If you come and if you if you if you buy a hi-fi rig from me, I've got a stash of these. I got a stash of some others too. I'll come over and set up your rig and I'll bring some stogies and we can sit down and sit on the back porch or whatever, the front porch, and smoke down a heater, as uh Michael Giordano calls it. <laughs> That's definitely somebody from the north where it gets cold when you call your smoke a heater. Um, but this is definitely a heater. Um, she tastes very good. No, no, the, the aftertaste is so kind. It's just light. It's not leaving any sort of bitter aftertaste. It's just, it's just nice. It's nice. Tea, there we go. That's the thing. That's the, what I had from before that I was thinking the undertone of black tea. That's what I'm getting black tea like this the nice strong whole leaf black tea mm -hmm. really really yummy look at that look at that burn can you see that i don't know let me let me try and yeah look at that let me get this in focus here nice burn on that thing man it is just a perfect burn look all the way around no liters nothing man just a nice, perfect burn, perfect ash. Doesn't get much better. I mean, Davidoff has the quality, man. Um, normally, I like Nicaraguan cigars better than Dominican. This is a Dominican cigar, but it's an old Dominican. So it's got, it's, um, you know, mellowed out. Normally, Dominicans are a little bit just spicy or something. I'm not into the spicy ones, you know. I like smooth and even keeled. It can be full-bodied. Like, I don't mind full body. But spicy, like the the white pepper, really spicy. Like Opus X, I don't like. I don't like that. Um, I'm better off with the with the Nicaraguan. But uh, this thing is doing me justice right now. So give Mikey a holler, buy a hi fi rig, or have me come out and set yours up, and I'll bring some kind cigars, and we'll sit and shoot the shoot the poop, won't we? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the Davidoff Millennium Edition. Um, Robusto, roughly an 18-year-old cigar. It's been laid down in my humidor. I bought the humidor that already had cigars in it. Some guy's doctor told him he needed to stop smoking on the golf course and everything. He was smoking at least one a day. And, um, and so I bought a whole cabinet humidor full of cigars. I went meaning to buy his Manning Irish-made uh, table, uh, a desk humidor, you know, that uh, a desktop. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I still have it. I bought it, and, you know, what I came for. It's a couple hundred, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, something like that. And I ended up spending, like, almost three grand and then trading. I did an install for him and traded to get a full cabinet humidor with hundreds of cigars that have been laid down for several years and I bought it like 10 years ago. So these puppies have just been sitting, getting better and better. I got rid of all the stogies that I didn't like. And I kept uh, a handful of them. I've still got some uh, Padrones um, from back then, some of the box press. I've got some good stogies. So anyways, uh, any of y'all want to comment on uh, cigars, feel free to go ahead. Because I like stogies. I go through stages. I haven't smoked cigar, a cigar since my mother died like four years ago. So I just picked them back up like a couple weeks ago. Started craving just sitting outside and burning down a, a, burning down a, a stogie. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll be talking to you soon. See you.
here I thought I'd add this in now we can see the ash is getting nice and it, it hangs on as long as I'm not walking and I'm sitting here the ash hangs on it's nice and tight pretty solid so I'm gonna nub this puppy out bear with me and I'll get back if I get some new thing I'm, I'm sure I'll get some some more once it gets down man about half the size it's going to be really, that's when they, they really exude some strong flavor, as you know, if you're a cigar smoker. Um, I'll turn it this way, get a little more light on the subject if I can. There we go. A little better, but yeah, she's holding on, man. And just a beautiful roll, really just perfect. I mean, I can't, I can't, that's kind of how Davidoff cigars, even over the Cubans, the Cubans just don't have the quality control that the Swiss do and this is one hell of a davy so i'll be back maybe hold on okay so now we're getting down there <clears throat> at this point look you can see my hand shaking a little bit <laughs> i got a sufficient uh nick buzz going here the nicotine cigar buzz uh it's so mellow i mean it's like it's like volume to me you know or something it's just like i'm so chilled out and relaxed from this eh, what is that it's not a cockroach it's a beetle um yeah so now she's getting a little hot in the palate you know a little bit hot now it's a real heater i guess <laughs> but um still still just um nice balanced flavor um full tilt boogie at this point she's kicking out everything she's got because she's getting ready to give up the ghost but um and i'll let her die a natural death i'm not gonna stub it out i don't do that um that's there's no dignity in getting stubbed out we'll let her burn out naturally but i'm gonna have a few more tokes on this thing and then probably go in and fall into my listening chair and listen to some music because uh that's about what the feeling is right now. Very, very, very relaxed and chilled. This was an A-rated cigar, okay? This is all there. Highly recommend it if you can still pick one up. I just barely snipped the cap off on the end. As you can see, I don't punch it. I use this I-car, and I just snip the cap off. That's it. Take the capper right off there and puff her down that way. So, still very, very good. Davidoff Millennium Series, Robusto. Let me grab the uh, bands. I'll show you the bands. Robusto. Geneva. Let's see. Get that thing, thing off my finger so I can rotate it. Oop, we've got the size there, Robusto. This little... This is um, D, whoops, um, came out of the D boss. So these are raised little, you know, spheres or whatever bullets you want to call them. And um, oop, there we go, Davy. And then we've got the Geneva, Geneve, saying that it's from it's from Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what they talk what they what they talk like. Yeah, yeah, might be something else. Um, Millennium Blend, and what a blend it is. Uh, very tasty. So thanks for joining me on this little cigar excursion. I'll bring you along on some of my other connoisseur-ish, OCD-ish ventures along the way, along with Hi-Fi. All right, see you.